Now, we will learn second part of this pro course, uh, it is basically applet programming. Regarding this applet programming, at the very beginning of uh, this course, we have uh, discussed about what exactly an applet it. We will basically recapitulate because it is a long term back we have discussed it. We will uh, recapitulate all the concept that we have once learned and then finally, we have planned a series of uh, module other modules to cover the concept of applet programming in details. It is in fact a very huge and then many mechanisms, many many concepts, many ideas, many tricks are to be learned actually. So, all those things we have learned one by one. So, again first let us have the applet programming. Now, definitely uh, so far the applet program is concerned you know applet is something different than whatever the program that we have learned so far using the convention mechanism. So, they are called applications. Now, a Java applet is basically is a small program which is usually embedded in a web document web page and this way whenever you browse a web page a particular applet will be uh, viewed or applet will display its uh, results and then then applet will allow you to do lot of interaction from the user using this applet a user can play music, user can play video, user can enter the data, user can log into the system, user can receive data from the database what is not. So, applet is more versatile and you know if we add applet in an application it really adds beauty to the application and whatever the sophisticated program we see nowadays they are basically embedded that means, applet is embedded into the Java program then it becomes more uh, fascinating, more uh, user friendly and more useful to many uh, people who do not know much about the programming actually. So, really it adds beauty to the programming. Now, many programming language as you know C, C++, Pascal they usually do not have this applet facility. The Java is an exception in this regard. So, Java provides applet and managing this applet in a variety of ways in a very professional ways actually. There are many mechanisms are for this purpose only and which we are going to learn actually. Now, in very okay, uh, simple words if we see what exactly a applet is and applet is nothing but an window we can say. So, that, that is why the operating system which based on this concept is named as windows operating system. What is the most popular one operating system uh, from the Microsoft Corporation Inc. So, an applet is nothing but an window and as you see this window has few things are there there is basically title of the window or we can say applet I should not say window here window is a special term coined by the Microsoft, but applet is the basic things which basically used to develop any windows of your own. And then here is basically the status of the applet. So, the two things are basically the title and the status at the top and the bottom and then this is basically the view area of the applet here it contain it includes many things. In one example where we have discussed about graphical user interface concept, this basically text entry areas. It can include to display uh, the uh, image or a video or it can include multimedia content image, video and then text and everything. So, this basically the area which basically used to display many elements in it. It can also display the menus, sub items of the menus and everything. So, this basically typically an applet is. So, applet programming is basically the idea about how we can develop this kind of user interface more precisely it is called the graphical user interface and more popularly it is called the GUI. So, G U I. So, that is the applet actually and usually how we can write an applet it is very simple as we see here this is the simple most code that basically an applet can be whatever the applet we have shown just now is basically product from this program. So, this program already we have there. So, to write an applet as we know we have to import java dot applet dot star because this basically applet programming follows many class many method many constructor from this applet class. So, there is a class called capital A P P L E T applet class which is there in the package java dot a w t yeah, java dot applet. In addition to this 
this is also one AWT package is there abstract windowing toolkit which basically use for managing the different working or activities in an applet. So, this is the two important packages already built in in the JDK and we have to import it and use it in our program. And here is the simple most code which we have already familiar to earlier and this is the name of the Java class that we have declared and this class should be extends an applet class. So, that is the usual syntax whenever we have to write an applet class or a program for applet. And this is the one method we use here paint and this is the graphics G this is also one class that is there in the graphics class which is in the java dot lang package is there. And then for this we just draw string hello world. So, this basically idea is that in this location of the applet window 150, 150 it will print this thing. So, this is a very simple one applet program which will basically display only one element namely a string which is as hello world on the view areas actually. So, this is the way that applet uh, can be written and as you know once the applet is written we have to we cannot run it we can compile it obviously, this file can be compiled hello world dot java if this is the name of the program then after compilation hello world dot class will be created. Once this created this class file can be viewed using any browser for example, applet viewer is the one browser which can be used it. So, basically we have to edit save and compile. So, as we told you this is the name of the file that java and then once the compile java c use the compiler which will produce the hello world dot class. Now, this class file needs to be embedded and to do it we should follow one html file. So, this is basically look of an html file will look like this and there is basically this is typical structure of the html file and then applet code that is the code which basically use to embed the file hello world dot class. So, this is the name of the class file that we have created and we have included here and this width 30 and height 30 is indicates that what will be the size of the applet in your case in this case actually. So, 300 cross 300. So, 300 pixel uh, this one and then 300 pixel this one. So, this way the applet is reconfigured and run ready for browsing. Now, once this HTML file is created our next time is next task is to open this browser and this browser can be open using any uh, browser as I told you. And obviously, this uh, file should be stored in HTML file as we see here hello java dot html, but not necessary hello java you can give any name of the uh, program. It is not necessary to give the same name as the dot class file or dot java file any any file name can be given here. Now, so this file can be browsed using many browser and there is a one popular browser in this direction is called the applet viewer. So, it is basically applet viewer and applet viewer and then following the applet viewer dot html file that can be used here. Now, earlier uh, versions of the internet explorer netscape navigator they allowed it, but now because of the security reasons and many more aspects uh, the modern browsers like mozilla safari uh, they are basically do not allow to browse any applet code. So, that is why we cannot use uh, this one which were earlier possible, but nowadays it is not possible anyway. So, applet viewer is the best way to browse an html file to show it see it. So, here is the uh, way that how you can show it is basically uh, so applet viewer and the name of the html file. So, you can see it here dot html file can be uh, displayed uh, then it will display and then typically the output for the program that we have discussed it is basically the typical output it will look like. So, this is the output that you can see on your screen. So, this way we can see how a code a very simple applet code can be written can be processed and finally, can be viewed and this is enough for uh, the beginners. So, that you can understand about how it will work. Now, we will quickly see about the general features that is there in an applet. Uh, so, basically we will discuss about the structure of an applet and as you see in this program it has three different parts as we see here. Uh, the first part is basically uh, this part is called the package part and this is basically the main body of the applet. 
Now, the main body in this case is very simple, but actually there is many more things that needs that can be incorporated here and okay, this is the one it is called the dot java component and this is basically called the dot html component which basically embed the applet after the success, successful compilation. If the compilation is failed at this stage and if you do it this viewer will open it, but it will not display anything. So, it will be totally a blank and if you do not give this code and then applet viewer you can use it the applet viewer will do it, but it will give only a blank applet. Now, so this is the three things are there is the dot java file versus the dot class file and then this is basically the html file and finally, the browse browsing of the output. Now, so now I will just discuss about the structure of uh, the applet code that may be there that means, java, uh, dot java component it is there as we have already discussed about there is basically the one section or first part in the body is import. There are many things can be imported as in the last example as we see import dot um, applet dot star import dot java dot uh, awt dot star like this. So, there are many import section that means, those are the class or library that you want to include in your java code that you can use it here. So, this is the first part and second part as we see this should be applet should be a public because applet needs to be browsed. So, it should be public you cannot provide any other modifier like default or private or protected only the public is allowed. Then class and then by default actually it will take public. So, if you do not give anything it is public it will take and then class name and then this is the name of the java class name that you want to do as you say it is extend applet. So, this basically part 2. Now, part 2 include many more things it will allow to declare any variable that is required in your applet. So, is a variable declaration part and then applet allow to invoke many methods you can write your own method or you can write some method which is there in this package libraries. So, all these method section will be there. So, altogether there are 4 parts import part this basically the class declaration the variable declaration and this is the method declaration and obviously, it is uh, the mandatory parts. So, but in some applet you do not may you may not have any variable declaration you can ignore it. So, it is not necessarily that all parts are mandatory some parts are optional required if it is there otherwise not there. Even we can write an applet without method part also this means that it will just uh, do not display anything do not do anything. So, it is a blank applet will be uh, displayed like this one. Anyway, so this is the general structure that an applet uh, program should have. Now, so here is an example ok check one by one. So, this basically import section as we see here and this is basically public class declaration there is no variable part in this case and this is the method part that we see this is the method part. So, these are the three parts are related to the small applet that we have discussed uh, just now. Now, so far the applet methods are concerned I will just give a few hints about it what are the different method is possible. You cannot include any method of your own rather you should include some method which are basically the method declared in the applet class and in basically you have to override that method. Now, the method which can be overwritten in an applet is listed here the init method this is the init method the start method and stop method. So, init method is basically used to initialize an applet before viewing it and start method actually uh, it will follow the init method once the initialization is over then start method will start execution of the applet and stop is basically while an applet is running. So, if you want to stop it then you can use it. So, these are the three methods that we can use it actually these are the method as I told you is basically to overwrite the method means we have to write the code for these methods in our own applet program. So, this is the way the different method can be created there are two more method also uh, they are basically already we are familiar to one method the paint method we have this basically for painting. Now, whenever you have to display something it is basically via paint if you have to uh, print some uh, image that also via print and you see we how you can display string that is also via pen then using the pen method uh, 
uh, anything you can draw on the applet. And the destroy method is basically it is the method which is basically to remove an applet completely from the memory. So, it is basically closing the applet forever. Okay, so, this is the idea about the different method very simple only 5 method init, start, stop and uh, uh, then paint and destroy. There are few more methods also those are basically standard methods there I will discuss one by one. Now, let us first discuss about very quickly about the different methods and how we can write uh, a code for all these methods in our own applet. Now, so this is a simple that using the paint method as you have already used it there, but I will see exactly ok we will uh, ok I will discuss about the other method like init stop how they can be incorporated in your applet code. Now, here le let us have the quick look about this program here the this is basically an idea about how we can declare init method in an applet. Now, what is the purpose of this init method as I told you the init method is for initializing an applet. Now, what do you mean by the initialization of applet suppose whenever you use the HTML code there you have to fix that what should be the size of the applet say 300 cross 300, but re de regarding the program and whatever it is there in one uh, what is called the gra graphical display I want to show many applets here and there. So, definitely I can reconfigure the size of the applet. So, here is basically from the program only we can reconfigure the size of the applet and to do these things we can take the confidence of the init method. So, here I can declare about init method public void init all these methods should be public because those methods are public only. So, in applet everything should be public there is no concept of private protected or default concept is there because applet is publicly useful. So, that is why it is it should be public everything is public class is public all methods are public like main method is public. Now, so init method we are declaring and here is the resize method this resize is the one built in method there in dot applet package. So, you can just use it without creating this is basically static method. So, no object needs to be created we can call this method resize and resize it has the two parameter 200 cross 200 it indicates that it will basically allow to create an applet which has the 200 size and 200 width. So, this is the init method that means whenever an applet will be uh, viewed. So, it will be initialized as a 200 cross 200 and then finally, uh, this applet will include the paint method that that is basically again paint method is uh, that is there in the applet uh, class we are overwriting this paint method in this this is our own added code we are using this one that means it will print uh, hello world at the location 150 150 of this applet. So, this is the way about init method is there now here is the basically you can see the output how it will look like this. So, this is the applet code dot java file compile it dot class file embedded into the html file and finally, if you run this then it will show this one. As you see we cannot display the whole thing this is because the applet size that you have in it is a 200 200. So, in this case actually it cannot fit the whole things if we do it little bit bigger may be that whole the string can be can be better. So, applet size can be this one. So, this is an example here we can see how this init method can resize your applet uh, view in the program when it is running. Now, there is also a another application of init method by which we can provide an input to an applet. Now, here we can see how the input can be provided to an applet for this again we have to rewrite our own init method here. So, here is an attempt to rewrite the uh, init method as you see here this is the init method we are discussing and these are the few code that basically we have mentioned here. So, that it can read the value x value y value w value h value from where from the html file the value because applet cannot be useful to read using the standard input output mechanism actually does not allow ok applet cannot read directly from the keyboard or it cannot directly something from the output stream whatever it is there. So, whatever the value that applet can read it will read through html file only that means, these are the value will be supplied using some applet code in the applet itself 
and then from that applet get parameter will get the value and this value will be converted into integer and they will store in a integer variable x y w and h like. And then finally, here the draw rect. So, it is basically one method that is there in graphics package it basically can draw a rectangle having x y coordinate is basically if this is the rectangle this is the x y coordinate and this is the w and this is the h. So, these are four parameters needs to be placed. So, in order to draw an rectangle. So, this basically draw a rectangle via pen method. Now, here we can see here we use the init method to read the value for drawing a rectangle from the from the user rather I can say from an HTML file. Now, obviously, the HTML file should be accordingly. Now, let us see what is the look of an HTML file in this case. So, this is basically a simple look of the HTML file as we see. So, this is the applet code this is as usual rectangular test this is the name of the java dot class file and this is the size of the applet and here these are the code that is the HTML code I, uh, I should say that HTML code param name x value, y value, w value these are the parameter name actually and the value is basically 20, 40, 100 these are the specified value. This means that x value is 20, y value is 40, w value is 100 and h value is 50. So, these are the past value to uh, through an HTML file to an applet. So, this is the idea about uh, that how you can pass an input and then if we run this applet uh, this HTML file it will basically draw a rectangle on the applet uh, area. So, the typically applet will look like this. So, this is basically the uh, uh, the output is actually that can be there. If we change the value of this input through this applet definitely this rectangular size can be changed and many more other things can be done those things are the advanced features that many more so, suppose this rectangle can be colored with some color the, that that uh, line can be thickened and whatever the things are there those things are from the pen method only. Anyway, so we have learned about how to resize a size of an applet using the uh, init uh, method that is there. So, again the same uh, program if we run with the different value as the output it look like this. So, it basically shows the different value if we pass through HTML code the different applet will be viewed on the screen. Now, so we have learned about the applets and then basic things about the applet that we have learned about many more about the applets are on the way of our learning procedure. Now, we have learned applets we have also learned a lot about the application development using Java then definitely you can understand what is the difference between application and applet. Now, application is basically stand alone program which can be written using any editor can be stored as a dot Java can be compiled on the successful compilation it will produce dot class file and the same can be run using java command. Whereas, applet as you see if you can run we can write a program dot java it can be compiled dot class, but it cannot be executed by java program it should be embedded in an html file and then that html file needs to be browsed by any browser for example, applet viewer. So, these are the basic things that we have there. And then application can includes many things which basically an applet cannot because the applet has its own purpose has its own objective had its own usage whereas, application is totally different. So, there are the two different ways of programming actually. So, usually application is for developing some programs which can help us to solve many applications and uh, application software rather, but applet is basically is to provide a graphical user interface that means, applet can be considered as an interface and at the back end the application can be controlled to run. So, this is the basic idea about here, but in general the there is a difference between the application and applet so far the program structure is concerned and as you know this is the structure of an applet is very simple it has only few method like init uh, then it is basically <coughs> init method. Uh, stop met start method, stop method, then uh, uh, des destroy method, pain method these are the few methods are there. And then the import section is also very simple either java dot 
applet dot uh, star or this is uh, java dot awt dot star or uh, java x dot swing those are the swing package is basically related to this graphical user interface development or applet uh, build creation. So, import section is basically limited to this kind of packages other than user's own package also can be included there. Now, whereas, if we see so far the application is concerned it has a document section is a package section where we can define whether importing a package or creating a package whatever it is there then interface also then class definition this is the main and then finally, the main uh, class are there and there are lot of mechanism as we have already learned encapsulation, inheritance, runtime polymorphism, binding and then static uh, declaration what is not. So, many more things that can be included there and whatever the idea that we have learned including multi threading and everything those things are can be can be put into this part. So, this is basically application, application is very uh, versatile, but in no way applet is also less we will see exactly how applet uh, can be developed. Anyway, so these are the so far the basic structures of the two concepts application and applets are concerned. So, there, there are difference and now there is again few difference are there so far they are uh, running is concerned as you see an application can include a method called the main method, but as we see in case of applet there is no main method. So, it can start from where it can start in fact, applet class to start it basically start with the main method which are there. So, it is init method if it is there it will start from the init then start then what are the methods are there in the paint or whatever it will start in that sequence. So, there is no main method in applet whereas, main method is must in an application and as you see an application can be run independently whereas, an applet should be browsed via an HTML pages through a browser may be applet viewer. Now, again we can know we have noted that applet cannot read or write neither from any file from standard input device or to any file or to any computer display like. So, there is no read write facilities are possible for the applet directly. However, we can give input via an HTML file. So, that is also not good to run every time we have to change the HTML this one, but there is again reason for that how we can manage it. Now, obviously, there are other way using the event handling that we will discuss about uh, uh, whenever we discuss that there is a interactive way of giving input to the applet also. Now, uh, again applet for example, applet app application a Java application can run any program from its any program means any class whatever it is there, but applet cannot run any program from the local computer or from the distance computer remote computer. Now, as you see applet also cannot allow to access many libraries those are there in other packages it is basically only those are the awt or applet or swings those are the packages can be used in the applet. So, there are many restrictions so far the applet is concerned. Now, it is little bit surprising that why the applet uh, is having so many restriction obviously, the reason is there because their objective their purpose is different. Now, it is our turn to run about how the more sophisticated applets can be designed and can be used and can be developed many program and then there are lot of de technology development around ok throughout the year and then there is a very sophisticated uh, methodology is available for developing applet. So, all these things will be discussed in our subsequent uh, discussion. So, till time ok thank you I think you are enjoying and more on the way we should learn it. Thank you very much. Thank you.